Have you ever considered buying a new home or an apartment? Looking at all the options on real estate sites, the prices are sky high and the quality most of the time wants to be better, right? And based on your own capabilities, you have to choose an available option on the secondary housing market. Not a problem, just listen to what a curiosity happened to our today's hero. One Texas resident, John Reynolds, bought a round down house after the previous owner. The house itself was far from a good condition. The ex-owner, an old man, could not physically take care of the house, so it was abandoned and neglected. But how attractive was the price for the house? $20,000 for the house and the backyard. John literally saved it from demolition because the building was built in 1955 and the local government was going to demolish it. So John decided to buy the house, clean it up and repair it a little bit, planning to sell it later on. The house itself was literally with garbage, overgrown jungle and has been a haven for stray cats for a long period of time. First of all, John repaired the house and left the backyard for later. Behind the house, the ground was constantly swampy, but John did not pay any attention to this, until after a heavy rain he received a phone call from his neighbor. Hey John, did you see what happened to your swimming pool? What swimming pool? I don't have one. Are you joking? John shouted. Yes, you do have a swimming pool. John ran down to the backyard and saw an amazing white pool. Just imagine how enthusiastically he repaired the pool and the whole area after this. The price for the house rose from twenty to two hundred twenty thousand dollars. And do you think John sold it? No, he decided to keep it because he considered it his best find. Now John likes to spend his free time here in the backyard, swimming in his own pool and basking in the sun. It feels like I have stumbled across a winning lottery ticket, he said. Never in a million years when I bought the property did I think I would be swimming in my own pool. I bought it as a bit of an investment, with the intention to do it up and sell it on. But it has yielded so many surprises, I don't know if I can let it go. The golden proverb says, not all that glitters is gold. Sometimes you have to look at things that look modest. Maybe somewhere you will find a real treasure.